Every morning before work, I set aside two hours of my day to do whatever I want. And to help me make the most of it, I created a routine that I actually look forward to doing. Hey everyone, I'm John, and in today's video, I'm going to share my realistic 7am morning routine that helps me start my day on both a positive and productive note. And I want to say thank you to Autonomous for sponsoring this video. I'll share more about them later on. One thing I love about my morning routine is waking up without an alarm. I always feel so well rested because it's just a natural time my body wants to wake up and it's so much more peaceful this way. But just in case, I do have one alarm set for 8.15 for the days when I stay out late or have trouble sleeping. One of the biggest changes I've made to my mornings is that I no longer check my phone immediately after waking up in bed. There have been too many times where I grab my phone, get distracted by social media, and the next thing I know I wasted my entire morning and it's just not a great way to start the day for me. To get my day started, I head to the bathroom where I use the toilet, wash my hands, and weigh myself. I like to weigh myself first thing in the morning for consistency and to measure my progress towards my fitness goals. But before I brush my teeth, there's one thing I have to do that I think a lot of people overlook. For toothpaste to be effective, you really shouldn't eat or drink anything 30 minutes after brushing your teeth, so I always make sure to drink water beforehand. I learned this the hard way because I used to get cavities all the time even though I always brushed and flossed my teeth, and this was the reason why. After brushing my teeth, I'll start my skincare routine. As someone who struggled with acne for the longest time, I'm super grateful for having clear skin now. The products I use definitely help, but I noticed that my skin started clearing up consistently after I changed my lifestyle to sleep better, eat healthier, and exercise more. To wash my face, I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. To moisturize, I use the Cetaphil Rich Hydrating Cream. And finally, I'll apply my Unseen Sunscreen from Supergroup. I highly recommend this sunscreen. It's so easy to apply and it doesn't leave any white cast like other sunscreens. And yes, you should use sunscreen even if you're indoors all day. The next thing I do is open up all of the blinds in my apartment to brighten up the space. It really helps me wake up and I just love how my apartment gets a ton of natural light throughout the day. Exposure to sunlight in the morning can actually help you sleep better at night, so it's just a positive reinforcement cycle to get some sun in the morning. I highly recommend it. Stretching and doing yoga is another thing I love to do in the morning. It's a great way to get your body moving, your blood flowing, and the best part is that it doesn't take that much effort to get started. You can literally get started laying down on the floor. Some days I'll freestyle it and do whatever stretches that I think my body needs. But other days, like today, I'll follow a YouTube video just so that I don't have to think about what to do next. And it's always nice to do a guided yoga where the instructor is super positive and gives off good vibes. I usually do yoga anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes so it doesn't really take up that much time, but it has such a positive impact on the rest of my day so I make sure I prioritize doing it first thing in the morning. So the beauty of having a morning routine is that it's a routine, it's very easy and simple to follow. So for me, that's everything that I've shown up until now. So at this point in the morning, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling awake, and now I still have an hour and a half to do whatever it is that I want to do. And this is the part of my morning routine that's a little bit variable. I like to switch it up every now and then so that not all of my mornings are exactly the same. So some days, especially on nice sunny days or even nice cold days, I like to go out for a walk in my neighborhood in San Francisco. It's just so nice being able to breathe fresh air, having the sun directly on my skin and seeing other people because I do spend a lot of my time indoors so it's nice to have a change of scenery. Other days I like to spend my time reading. I'm currently reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. So many people have recommended this book to me so I really wanted to see what all the hype was about and honestly it's pretty good and really relevant to today's video as well because it really inspired me to make this changes to my morning routine. I have to hurry up and finish reading this book though because I have to return it to the library. If you have any book recommendations let me know in the comments I'd really love to know.
So the major theme of my morning routine is filling it with things that I look forward to doing and so I actually look forward to waking up and starting my day. And one of the things that I love doing is running my passion project, which is running this YouTube channel. So I have a lot of fun creating content and I'm super grateful for all of you that watch my content. So thank you for watching. I do have a lot of fun chatting with you all in my comments and for those of you who DM me on Instagram at your friend in tech if you want to DM me. So it's great knowing that my videos are actually helpful and that you all enjoy watching them. So case in point, I'm spending this morning filming this video. Yesterday I spent the morning finished writing the script for this video and tomorrow I'll spend the morning starting the edit for this video. And I do all of this in the comfort of my amazing new desk from Autonomous who is also the sponsor of today's video. Autonomous sent me the Smart Desk Connect and it's honestly the best standing desk I have ever used. For full transparency, there are some things I think could be improved but first let me start with what I like about this desk. Number one, it's big and it can fit everything I need on my desk and more. So I'm all for having a clean and aesthetic desk setup but the reality is that when I'm actually using my desk, it's a mess, but an organized mess. There are times when I need everything from my monitor, my laptop, a notebook, keyboard, mouse, coffee, hard drives, my camera gear. I need all of it on my desk at once and so it's nice having a large surface area where I can see everything clearly. So this desk actually comes in two sizes, the classic and the extra large classic. And this is the smaller of the two sizes and it's the perfect size for my home office in the corner of my living room. Number two, it just looks really good. I really like the aesthetic of this desk. It's very clean and minimal looking. Looking. I chose all white everything so that everything matches. There are two leg options, square and round, and I went with the round because I think it looks better, but that's just my personal preference. Number three, probably one of the most important, is that it has all of the features I want in a standing desk. There are three preset buttons, so I have one for sitting, one for standing, and one where I can push my chair all the way underneath the desk to save space. The range of this desk is also pretty impressive. It goes all the way from 23.6 inches, which is the lowest that I've ever seen in a standing desk, and all the way up to 49.2 inches and it has an anti-collision feature which will stop the desk if it runs into anything while it's moving and number four it has features that other desks don't autonomous has an app where you can connect to the desk and you can control it through the app and honestly that feature i barely use the feature i do use is being able to set a schedule to sit and stand to be honest sometimes i forget to stand so having this app remind me and set a schedule to sit and stand is really perfect now in terms of what can be improved it's quite expensive expensive compared to other standing desks. The configuration I have is over $700 and I know that there are standing desks that will sell for half of this price. On the flip side, I know that this desk is really high quality and it comes with a 7 year warranty. So whether it's worth it is really up to you and if you value having the features of this desk. Autonomous did give me a discount code that all of you can use, I'll leave all of that information down in the description below. When it's about 5 minutes till 9, I'll start my water kettle to make coffee. And then I'll start cleaning up my desk area to get ready for starting my workday because on some days I do work from home so I want to start off with a clean slate. When my desk is clean and everything is put away, I'll finish making my cup of coffee. For my coffee, I'll use beans from the San Francisco Coffee Company. I grind it myself about once a week. I'll measure it out and put it into my French press. I add water, put the lid back on, I'll wait 4 minutes and then I can press for success and I have a nice cup of coffee to start my workday. If you saw something on my desk that you liked, be sure to watch my next video where I talk about seven desk accessories to level up your workspace. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.